Hey there loves, how you doing? How's been your week? My week has been good and I've been able to meet my weight loss goals. Today I woke up and I weighed myself and I was 83.3, that's down 500 grams. That's half a kg in three days. So I'm happy about that. Uh, I woke up today and I had a bit of a rough morning due to my own lack of planning. But you know, it's, uh, there's a little bit of instability in the country, so my things kind of went left a little bit. So I didn't manage to work out, but um, today's Friday, so I did have a good four days uh, of working out. And if I wake up and I feel like it tomorrow, I may work out, I may work out. Uh, so, I just had a little bit of motivation that I wanted to give you, or just knowledge, let me say that, knowledge that I wanted to give you. Uh, on my last video, I put a quote by somebody I saw on, on Instagram. I did write the name that was on the Instagram post. It said, it's not meat, it's not salt, it's not carbs, it's not uh, Splenda. It's not sugar. If you're not losing weight, it means you're eating too many, too many calories. Simple. It's that simple. If you're not losing weight, it simply means you're not you're eating too many calories. Because coming from me, I told you I've gone through every, not every, but a lot of these popular diets. I've done keto before. I've done. Atkins diet, you know, many other. I don't want to keep name, naming them. The military diet, okay. I've done a lot of diets in an effort to lose weight. But I remember on keto, there was a time when I actually gained weight because I was just eating the fat bombs. Um, I was drinking bulletproof coffee. I was just doing it. I was following the keto diet, but I was not counting calories. So I was still overeating, especially fat and protein, because it's so good. Um, you can easily overeat. And I would make all these keto stuff, like keto ice cream, keto this, keto that, that had a lot of calories. So when I began to study my body, I realized that I respond more when I start counting my calories. And you really have to be conscious of what goes into your body. And you also have to be conscious of how, how much you burn. So don't really worry too much about how much sugar am I eating. How much, unless if you have other goals like fitness goals, of course you have to consider how much protein, protein you eat if you're trying to build muscle or whatever. I'm just talking about weight loss. If you're trying to lose weight, I feel like you really need to be taking into consideration what calories you eat. As you can tell, my diet, I don't really deprive myself that much. I eat Nutella, I still have milk in my coffee, I eat eggs, full eggs, I don't just eat egg whites. I eat white bread, okay, not so much brown, because I don't like brown, I don't like the taste of brown bread. I prefer to get my fiber from veggies and stuff, I don't want to eat brown bread, I don't like it. And from the research that I've seen, brown bread is just the same as, as white bread. So enjoy your white bread. I eat white bread, I eat bread almost every day, or even twice a day. I think today I might have it twice a day. I might have, have it bre for breakfast and then I'll have it for like my dinner slash And I think since I didn't work out today, I might deprive, I'm not saying I will, I might deprive myself of my usual Kit Kat at the end of the night or some snack. So that's all the knowledge I wanted to drop on you, my loves. I wanted just to let you know that don't feel pressured. You know what, I use sweetener in my tea, but if your calories allow, you can even do like two teaspoons of sugar because one teaspoon is only 40 calories. So for me, I prefer using sweetener because my sweetener is only four calories each uh, per sach sachet. So if you want to use sugar, it's 80 calories, but for me, it's only 16 calories to, to use a sweetener. So I would rather use my calories on something that I love. So you can, you can make your own diet. 
figure out the stuff that you like to eat. If you like Mexican food, if you like African food like me, if you like whatever you like to eat, make sure it fits your macros, okay? Make sure it fits your calories. That's all you have to do. You do not have to deprive yourself. You do not have to have a sad day because of it. But anyway, I don't want to talk your ear off. I just wanted to give you those, that a little bit of advice on your weight loss journey. So I'll be talking to you a little bit later when I finally decide what I'm going to eat. All right, see you later. So this is my breakfast, well more like lunch really, two eggs on toast. This is one toast with cream cheese and a little bit of jam on it. Cream cheese is only 10 grams and my tea. No, it doesn't look that appetizing but it tastes delicious, trust me. And fun fact, these eggs are actually from the back from our chickens okay so guys this is my dinner this is about a hundred grams of potatoes um, this is a hundred grams of broccoli and this is a chicken breast pardon my gravy because I left it out and then I tried to reheat it and it became kind of lumpy but this is a stuffed chicken breast, stuffed with what? Stuffed with spinach, a little bit, uh, 30 grams of cream cheese, 30 grams, uh, 10 grams of cheddar cheese. So yeah, I'm gonna cut it up in half so you see what it looks like. Okay, that's what it looks like on the inside. That's spinach, cream cheese, potatoes, Wednesday was a little bit a different day for me. I had 1,240 calories and I was left with an excess of 110 calories. My breakfast slash lunch was 578 calories, which is usually more than that. And for dinner, I had 662 calories. And I didn't have a snack that day, like my little chocolate. So I guess that's where, you know, the excess, um, well, not the excess, but the remaining calories are coming from. Okay, um, this is my first meal of the day today. I thought of making something different like pancakes or whatever, but I got too hungry. I got so busy that I just said, you know what, let me just do something, a recipe I've done before. And this is just two toasts with Nutella five grams of nuts split between the two slices, two eggs, and this is some tea with um, 150 grams of 2% milk. Okay guys, I'm really starting to fall in love with this meal. So I'm having dumplings again today. I'm having seven dumplings. I wish I made some more broccoli because you know it just shrunk I thought it was a lot more when I was cooking it and a hundred grams of beef country style sausage so fun fact the broccoli is from my garden and this beef sausage is actually my brother-in-law who makes it and the dumplings have been made by me from scratch and this dipping sauce is simply soy sauce uh, one little packet of sweetener and apple cider vinegar and it's actually quite delicious so yeah and my drink of choice is water of course I'm gonna be having it with some water on Thursday I went back to my normal eating pattern 1387 calories I was over by 37 calories and my breakfast was 637 calories I had a, a bit of a large dinner which was 750 calories and I had my usual Kit Kat and that was it. Okay, you know me now. Today I just decided to do 10 grams of Nutella 
and about three grams of nuts on one toast and two eggs. I don't want to overdo it with the Nutella because it's pretty high calorie. And my tea with 150 grams of 2% milk and sweetener. <laughs> There you go, and my crunchy eggs as you can see, but they still taste pretty good and the yolk is not cooked all the way. It's not overcooked. Hey guys, so this is my dinner for tonight, of course. I'm having 200 grams of potatoes, 155 grams of baked chicken, and this is my uh, lemon garlic sauce. Uh, 25 grams of it for to eat with my chicken. I don't like dry chicken. And this is, uh, I mixed it up today. We harvested some cauliflower yesterday from our garden. And also this broccoli is from our garden. So yeah, this is my meal. This was the total calories that I had, 1393 calories on this day and my lunch which was my breakfast technically was 624 calories and my dinner was kind of that same figure coming in at 669 calories and of course my Kit Kat which was 100 calories so there you have it I thought it would be nice to share with you guys my goal so I started at 97 kgs when I gave birth and then I came down from I mean to 88 kgs and now I'm 83.3 kg my goal is to come down to 72 kg well for now uh, that's my weight for me to be within a healthy BMI and I should be losing about 0.5 kg a week with my calories so yeah these are my goals <music>